Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I'm Taryn and I post a lot of skincare focused beauty content as well as fashion and lifestyle content. So if that interests you, please feel free to check out my other videos and subscribe. I've done a lot of videos on my channel about tretinoin. I figured it would be a good idea to do a video about tretinoin, what it is, who uses it, why would you use it, and just a common video to kind of answer some basic questions about tretinoin that is not a Q&A. So basically, I'm just gonna give you a basic breakdown in case you might be interested in knowing more about it before you ask your doctor about it. So I just wanna preface this video by saying I am not a professional, I am not a dermatologist, I am not an esthetician, I do not work in the medical field, and I am not a medical anything. So I will be posting some references in the description box so you can take a look at them as well. So to start off with, what is tretinoin? Tretinoin is a synthetic form of vitamin A. According to Wikipedia, vitamin A is a group of unsaturated nutritional organic compounds. Tretinoin falls underneath the retinoid umbrella as well as retinol. You probably have heard of retinol before because that is what is widely available over the counter. Retinol is basically a weaker form of a retinoid, which is why you can purchase it over the counter. Retinol is a type of retinoid, but it's weaker than something such as tretinoin, which can also be referred to as retin-A, as you might commonly see it as. But retinoids are a lot stronger than retinol. So why would you use tretinoin? Tretinoin is commonly used for acne and wrinkles. And you may be thinking those things are completely different. You might associate acne with being young and wrinkles with being old, but they can be treated in the same way with tretinoin. Both of these things can be treated with tretinoin because tretinoin accelerates skincare growth. So essentially, by using tretinoin, your skin cells turn over faster. If you have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is one of the main reasons why I got on tretinoin, tretinoin will turn your skin over faster and reveal the skin underneath that is not pigmented. So it works for dark spots as well, and it works for sun damage. When it comes to wrinkles, it turns the skin cells over quicker and reveals a younger looking skin. This is coming straight off healthline.com. This says that it may sound counterintuitive, but Tretinoin works by irritating the skin. Tretinoin makes the skin cells divide faster, therefore die faster, so that new and healthier skin cells can replace the dead ones. Tretinoin was the first FDA approved treatment for wrinkles. So going into wrinkles, why would you wanna use it? I learned that a lot of celebrities use tretinoin to keep the look of looking younger. So of course, when they're not using surgical and invasive procedures, they are probably using tretinoin. The way I use it is as an acne treatment and also a treatment for hyperpigmentation. And I've seen some people on my channel mention that they use it for wrinkles. So two opposite ends of the spectrum, but same purpose, same goal, same mission. Tretinoin is typically applied in the form of a gel, cream, or ointment, and it is applied topically. How do you get tretinoin? In the United States, which is where I live, you have to have it prescribed by a doctor. I know in other countries, you can purchase tretinoin over the counter. So if you live in the United States and are interested in using tretinoin, I would reach out to a medical professional. It might be your primary care physician, or if you already have a dermatologist to get a prescription. And I know there are resources online where you can actually get it prescribed from a doctor through a virtual call or just a website and get that going. So definitely check that out if you are interested. How do you use tretinoin? The way I know how to use tretinoin is to use a pea-sized amount and spread it all over your face and other areas that you wish to treat. Use a small amount. I used a little bit too much at some point and my skin didn't go crazy, but that might irritate your skin. For instance, while I was spreading it all over my face, I needed to add a little extra underneath my chin and I might actually start using it on my chest as well because there are some post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and just some hyperpigmentation issues on my chest that I would like for tretinoin to be used on it as a treatment. Also with how do you use it, how often do you use it? If you're just starting on tretinoin, I would only use it one to two times a week and just build your way up to using it multiple times a week and if you want to every day throughout the week. Of course, talk about that with your dermatologist and or your esthetician because 
I spoke with my dermatologist, so I worked my way up to using it every night. What are the side effects of using tretinoin? Common side effects are dry skin, flaky skin, and irritable skin. I wanted to make sure I did not have these side effects going into it, so I made sure that my skin barrier was repaired. I actually did a video on my channel on my routine for making sure that my skin barrier is protected, and I've answered questions about that topic before. I'll link that in the description in case you're interested. But basically, you make sure that your skin is healthy, moisturized, and hydrated before you start tretinoin. Another common side effect that you'll see is more acne, which is might be crazy to think about, but because their skin cells are turning over faster, it's bringing up everything to the surface. What happens to your skin is what is typically called a purge. So your skin will have acne, more inflammation, but it does not last forever. It might last at most three months, maybe longer, but hopefully it doesn't. I do have a video on this channel about how to handle your breakouts, which can help you when you're going through a tretinoin purge, if that happens to you. Those are the most common side effects, and your skin might be a little bit more sensitive to the sun, so make sure that you wear your SPF and reapply it throughout the day. How long will it take for you to see results? So like I mentioned before, your skin might purge. So you might start to see some really great results earlier than six months or after six months. But I would say six months to a year is when you see your best results. I'm coming up on my one year on tretinoin. So I will do a video on that, of course, in December. So just be on the lookout for that. But I've done videos for my three months, six months, and nine months already on this channel in case you are interested to see how my skin has progressed. I am starting on a higher percentage so I will be starting off with one to two times a week and then working my way up as I do every time that I have gotten a higher percentage of tretinoin and tretinoin comes in different percentages that is based on the strength of it so I started off at 0.025 percent and then I got 0.05 percent and now I've been prescribed 0.1 percent tretinoin I will gradually start on using 0.1%. It's really important to not rush it. So don't try to speed your way into using tretinoin. Make sure that you are not trying to apply it every single night. Of course, like I mentioned, go over this with your dermatologist or whoever prescribed it for you. Tretinoin is typically applied nightly because that way your skin is not in the sun after you apply it to your face because it will make you a lot more sensitive to the sun. What not to do when applying tretinoin. Do not apply tretinoin to wet or damp skin. It's a good idea to wait 20 to 30 minutes after you wash your face to make sure that it's completely dry. But if you don't have time to wait that long, just make sure that your face is completely dry and I would still take some time after you washed your face to make sure that it's not wet, especially just starting off in tretinoin that can really irritate your skin. The second thing is to not apply tretinoin to skin that is damaged. If your skin barrier is not intact, do not use tretinoin. Wait until your skin is healthy, moisturized, and hydrated before using tretinoin because that will really mess your skin up for real. So how do you go about removing facial hair? If you're someone that gets hair on your face removed, I would personally stick with threading if possible. If you do get waxes, I would stop using tretinoin for a little bit in order to get that wax. But that's just not something that I would think it's that deep. So I would remove hair on my face by either getting it threaded or by safely using an eyebrow razor. So you can also get that done somewhere. You don't have to do it yourself. Those are the two ways to remove facial hair that I would recommend while using tretinoin. So what should you use when using tretinoin? I recommend using sunscreen. You have to use sunscreen while using tretinoin. You should be using sunscreen every day. If your concern is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or hyperpigmentation in general, dark spots, and or wrinkles, you should be wearing sunscreen because that is the first step in stopping sun damage, aging, and your dark spots from just getting darker. So sunscreen is honestly one of the very best steps easiest steps and most affordable steps to combat those skincare issues that might arise or that you might be concerned about. You might be wondering about drugstore alternatives. Like I mentioned, there are retinols that are over the counter. I've used the CeraVe retinol before and I've also used Differin. Those are great if your acne and whatever issues that you might be having and may be looking into tretinoin for are not as severe, but tretinoin is usually safe for people with a little bit more severe or just with a push 
to get it, especially when you see people wanting it for anti-aging. Also, when it comes to how long will it take for you to see results, Tretinoin, starting Tretinoin is a process, it's a journey. Do not expect to see results right away. It will take some time because there are a lot of factors in place. Personally, I have seen great results and it hasn't even been a year in, but I cannot wait for my one year and so on to see what my results will be. This is not something that you expect to speed through, but maybe you will if your skin conditions are not as severe. So this week's comment of the week is going to be a segue into future videos that I will be doing. My next skincare video is going to be my updated tretinoin routine and then other skincare videos that will be more pertaining to body care. So that will be exciting. But this comment of the week is from Soggy Waffles. This comment is, as a small girl all around, those little one piece top and shorts will look ridiculous on me. I've seen plenty of videos of, is it skinny or is it fashion? But there should be a conversation on, is it BBL or is it fashion? No hate on these girls, it just makes me think about these insane body standards. This comment was left on my BBL fashion video. I put this as comment of the week because I will be doing more fashion videos in the future because that's just, kind of where my head is right now. And I will of course still be doing skincare videos, but I want more variety on my channel. So I might be doing a BBL fashion part two video because she kind of expressed like some of my thoughts about it and more so pertaining to body standards and how it pertains to fashion, how it changes fashion. Thank you so much for that comment. I love seeing your thoughts on my videos and just engaging with you guys. This video kind of sums up what I think you should do before starting tretinoin and what you should know before starting tretinoin. I hope this video helps you if you are interested. Are you interested in starting tretinoin or are you on tretinoin? Let me know in the comments. As always, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on this video for more videos. Thank you so much.